I wanted to do a video, guys. I tried to do it er earlier outside, but you couldn't hear me speak because of the cars. So I'm going to do it inside. And I posted a quote yesterday on Facebook. And I said, when you speak the truth, you are going to piss people off because they are living a lie. When you speak the truth, you're going to piss a lot of people off that are living a lie. But don't ever stop speaking the truth. And I had amazing feedback. And this inspired me, guys, to make this video. And this is going to be the, our last video. You know, I've uploaded 50 videos for free from the Book of Life. You know, perfect reviews on Amazon. I'm very grateful for all the feedback, you know, and make to make money off of a book. And I'm also writing, you know, a fantasy book right now, too. And I... Where we're at with the nonprofit right now, guys, where we're, tr you know, I get to travel the world and work with leaders. We just got done working with uh, the Native American tribe. We're going to finish the other half working with more tribal leaders. And we work with, you know, leaders in Mexico. We're going to the Philippines. And now, after a year and a half of sacrifice, guys, to get the nonprofit to where it's at, I'm really going to start focusing more again on myself. And this is going to be the last video I make in the self-help area. The next post we put on our Facebook page, which, by the way, we now have over 10,000 authentic, real followers from over 30 countries around the world. And I'm very grateful. But like I said, I'm going to start focusing on myself more. I'm going to be starting an app, a phone app for you guys. And it's going to also have a web version for you guys. And a bunch of other businesses, you know. I'm going to get my contractor's license for remodeling, you know, big mansions and houses here in Arizona. And I'm not saying this, to, I'm saying this to give an update, guys, because like I said, this is the last video. And I wanted to give three tools. Three tools in my last video go all out. And I'm, the reason I started off with the quote about speaking the truth and offending people that are living a lie, I don't censor my videos. I don't censor my videos. I don't have to sell you to some seminar where you're going to come jump up on a stage, a Tony Robbins seminar, and act like your problems are just going to disappear. You know, I don't need to sell you to some Mind Valley bullshit seminar, you know, or all these other bullshit seminars, okay? I don't have a teleprompter I'm reading where I have to worry about offending people. I speak the fucking truth, and that's going to offend a lot of people that are living a lie. That's why I started off with that quote. And when I go over these three tools, I got some props I'm going to use today. When I go over these tools and the heart, when I go over these three tools, guys, I'm not going to hold back. And I'm going to go all out for about seven minutes. And for those who actually want to change their life, those who are tired of living a fucking shitty nine to five, and I started off. Pushing in carts and cleaning fucking toilets. I started off as a shy immigrant high school jerk off kid watching porn every day. And how did this kid go from pushing in carts and being socially awkward over just in just seven years go and evolve and self improve to where now I have the privilege, like I said, to travel the world? all around the world, work with leaders around the world, uniting cultures together. I get the privilege to have perfect health where I don't have to drink coffee. I sleep perfectly. I work out. And I mastered 30 jobs, but it was not always perfect. It was not always perfect, guys. It was not always pretty. And for those who have not seen the picture of a, an iceberg where it says success, and then on the other 90% of the iceberg underneath the water, it shows failure, it shows rock bottoms, it shows betrayals, it shows, you know, all of the other things you get to go through to get to the top, to have success. And, you know, <laughs> I laugh because it's, it's ridiculous, guys. People think the 1%... And the 1%, I'll, okay, I'll stop there, okay? I was about to say the 0.01% because those are the people I've worked with, you know, during my life. But we'll just say the 1%, right? The one people will, would be amazed by what the 1% have to go through to get to where they're at. Billionaires are not just a bunch of trust fund babies that inherited their money. You know, I, you know, I went through several rock bottoms that I'm going to go into during this video. I did not just go through rock bottoms that you will have to go through if you want to live the life of your dreams. You know, 
I went through fucking depression several times. I was molested as a teenager. I went through a very, I want to say bloody, but very aggressive childhood, to say the least. You know, I went through felt suicide attempts where I still have scars. You can see slightly on my wrists. You know, my life was not always pretty, guys, and I don't say this to cry. I say this to bring this, bring us into our first point. And, guys, I talk about it in my video on trauma, and I talk about it in my video on anger. And there's two, there's two kinds of people in life. Sometimes I don't even refer to them as people, you know, it, may, it makes my head scratch. But there's two kinds of beings in this world. There's, there's people, or, I, there's, there's people that sit around crying like a little fucking, like a little puppy. Or like a little baby. What does a baby do when it, it, it doesn't know what to do? It cries. And then there's people that actually focus on the solutions to their problems in life, and they fix them. And it's amazing. It blows my mind how many people sit around crying. I go to the gym. I go, I'm at Walmart, and I hear grown-ass man-childs crying about produce. Crying about coupons. And there's two kinds of people in life. There's the people that sit around crying about their problems. Oh my God, there's so much traffic. Oh my God, I spill coffee on myself. Oh my God, minimum wage. It's just not fair. And then there's the other people. I got my little tiger here flexing his muscles. There's other people that actually do something. Instead of crying, they actually find a solution and they put in the work and they reach that solution. They solve the problem. There's problem solvers and then there's people that make the problems even worse. They sit around crying like little kids, like monkeys. All I hear is fucking monkeys. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're an adult. You are a human being. You have the ability to think and you have the ability to fight your problems. And... People go, Luke, what do you know about my problems? You know, <laughs> and this is why I talk about the depression, you know. I had to overcome all of the, my dark college years, to call it the least, of all the fucked up shit I did to try to, to, try to run away from my problems. You know, sleeping with women, sometimes three women at once. You know, oh my God, drugs, smoking pot for 12 hours straight running from my problems and then I finally realized something guys you know after I tried to kill myself on New Year's Eve in a forest a dark forest you know filled with homeless people I realized something I realized I could either run from my problems like a little bitch or excuse my language let's let's I could either run from my problems like a weak and soft little kid or I could turn and face them and become stronger and guys, when you think about life, when you think about life, you know, a tree is growing. A tree is overcoming storms and tribulation. A tree does not become a giant oak tree overnight. Even this little plant, you can see it died, it grew, it died, but yet it's growing stronger now. And I, I realized something. I said, wait a moment. We are human beings. We are the highest form of life there is. We are the greatest form of creation and life there is. If I'm not growing stronger, if you are not pushing through your problems, if you want to sit around crying all day about how difficult life is, you want to sit around medicating yourself out because you're too weak to face your problems. And a lot of people that are living a bullshit lie are going to be like, oh my God, he said marijuana is an escape. I fucking smoked fucking two years every single fucking day of my life. And I will tell you, everyone I smoked with, and including myself in college, was fucking running from my fucking problems. And then I realized, though, instead of medicating out, instead of drinking away, I could face my problems. I could grow stronger. You can, too. You are the highest form of life there is, just like the plants and just like the trees. You were meant to fall. You were meant to fail. You were meant to collapse and hit the rock bottoms. 
I love my rock bottoms. I talk about my failures very proudly. I talk about my failures. I talk about my mistakes very loudly. Why? Because it's what made me stronger. It's what allowed me to evolve and grow. Evolve and grow. Just like we are supposed to. And if you are not growing stronger, then you are what? You are dying. If you are not growing stronger, you are dying. And so much suicidal rates and depression are at an all-time high where every 20 seconds soon somebody in the world is going to be taking the easy way out because they're too weak to face their problems. And why? Because they're dying. And you know, I met people... I dated a woman that was raped crossing the border, 12 years old. Went through an abusive relationship just like I went through my childhood. And God, I don't even want to go on with the rest. Like I said, I already went through some of it. But I went through I met another guy who grew up without his mother who was in prison for selling cocaine. He was forced as a teenager to shoot children with a rifle. He had no choice. It was either that or his fucking family. I meet people from Africa that watch their fucking heads of their families get cut off in front of them. They watch their sister get raped, right? Their fucking teenage sister get raped in front of them, right? Watch your sister get raped in front of you and then watch her head get cut off and then walk outside and have to survive through a war in Africa. I met fucking people in Mexico. Watch the cartels cut off your mom's fucking head after they finished fucking gang-busting her, three of them. But yet... And then tell me about how hard your life is. Why I come back to America and people have to smoke or drink just to make it through work. Oh my God. And guys, I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not ranting. I get very passionate about this stuff. And, you know, once again, I'm going to speak the truth and a lot of people that are living a lie are not going to like it. But the beautiful thing, guys, was this, is this. When I met these people from Africa, when I met these people from Mexico that has, sur that has survived the cartel wars and watched their families, you know, be violated and killed in front of them, they were happy. When I met these African college students and these, Af these people in Mexico, they were smiling. They were happy. I saw it in their eyes. They were not, they had gone through a lot of shit. They had old souls, but they were happy. I'm, and I'm sitting there like, I'm sitting there, you know, like, okay, I was molested as a teenager and you know, I went through a rough childhood and all of my problems, but holy shit, how are you smiling and happier than me? And then I started to realize, you know, after meditating and doing a lot of research, like I said, I've studied psychology. I've studied psychology my entire life, physics, and the science of life like Albert Einstein from the, the most brilliant minds in those three fields. And I studied, and I wondered, how could these people, these African people that I just mentioned, and Hispanic people, how could they be smiling in front of me? How could they be dancing and joking around and teasing each other? And it was because they realized something that I realized myself later on after sitting on a cliff on a mountain, you know, with my legs given out underneath me, that people had died trying to hike this mountain. Several people in Arizona, more than several people have, people have died hiking this mountain. And I realized as I was stuck on the top, you know, shivering cold all by myself, unable to walk, I realized life is short. Not, not just the cliche version of life is short, but life is so fragile. And when you actually... When you actually realize, I can either sit around crying about how my family was raped and killed, or I could do the other route. I could say, I'm going to enjoy life, because I'm alive, and for that I'm grateful. And I'm not only grateful to be alive, and when you're grateful just to be alive, it's amazing how... <laughs> you're happy 24 hours a day. You don't give a fuck about silly shit. You're, you're just happy. And guys, if the 1%, the wealthiest people in the world, if you even had to deal with their problems for an hour, you would kill yourself. I guarantee it. The shit I hear people cry about, oh, I got a parking ticket. Oh, there's too much traffic. 
Oh, minimum wage is too low. The shit I hear people cry about, if you had to deal with the 1%, let alone the 0.01% people's problems in the world, you would be, you would cap yourself. You wouldn't last. Try having to manage 100 employees. Try, tr try managing 5,000, 50,000 employees. You think raising one kid, you think raising three children is hard? <laughs> try, try raising 100 children or being responsible for 100 adults. Let's see how big or small your problems are. But yet people want to complain about how the 1% make too much money. I'm like, wait a moment. I don't see you having the inner strength to do what they're doing. And that's exactly what it is. You can either sit around crying, I'm going to say it one more time, or you can grow stronger. And it's why I love exercise. I love fucking feeling my body burn. I love feeling pain. Oh God, I fucking love pain. Because I know pain is going to make me stronger. Pain is going to make my, just like the tree, I'm going to grow new branches. I'm going to grow new leaves. I'm going to grow back stronger. I love fucking pain. And this is what, this is my attitude and perspective to life that allowed me to go through 30 jobs. I was, you could ask every one of my, my corporate sales managers, my moving companies, blacksmith in Mexico, painting companies, waiter. You could ask all my supervisors. I was happy. My last job, I was working part-time while I was, you know, getting the nonprofit going along with my business. I was fucking singing all day. I was fucking singing. They asked me, why are you always happy? Why are you always laughing? And it was exactly that. Because I had embraced all of these traumas and difficulties and rock bottoms in my life and used that strength with the attitude that the African and Hispanic people took of being grateful just to be alive. And guys, problem solving is the first tool. Solve your problems and become stronger. Don't sit around crying like a little monkey. Face your problems like a real man. Face your problems like a real woman. And I don't care if I offend a lot of people with the bullshit lie you're living where you have to medicate out every day just to make it to work in a whole other reality. But if you want to change your life and actually really embrace the first tool I'm going to give you, which is problem solving and responsibility, responsibility. Guys, Donald Trump doesn't give a fuck about you. McDonald's doesn't give a fuck about you. Your parents are too busy with their own problems. They don't give a fuck about you. And I, when I accepted this truth, that is going to offend a lot of lies people are living, that Donald Trump doesn't give a fuck about me. He's just fucking worried about his own fucking, fucking wallet. He's, he's endorsed by the same people that own the news. And the same people that own the news and the politicians are the same people working alongside the Catholic Church that has controlled humanity and society for hundreds of years. I realized I need to be responsible myself as an adult. I'm responsible for myself. My responsibility. My problem solving. And that leads me into the second tool that I want to give people. And that... <laughs> This is Fred. Say hi, Fred. Now, why do I bring a monkey here? The second tool I want to give you, right? We have our first tool, responsibility and problem solving. The second tool, if you really want to live the life of your dreams and really start to, oh my God, be happy, be joyful, fulfilled, is learning how to think. Learn how to think. Why is he holding the string above the monkey's head? Let me think a little bit. When, when you learn how to think, and some people refer to this as consciousness, you know, when you stop reacting, when you stop reacting and you start thinking, letting the wheels in your head turn and you respond to people, you respond to situations, you make no mistakes or less mistakes, you're allowed to, instead of being thrown around like a monkey or like a bowling ball, I don't have any balls, but instead of being thrown around like a bowling ball, you start thinking and you start responding, right? Albert Einstein said it perfectly. 
And I'm about to speak some real brutally honest truth. And like I said, people are going to cry. Their dogma mask that the one family we just talked about sold them is going to be shattered. Albert Einstein said it perfectly. We need to fix our educational system to where we're teaching people how to think and not just memorize repeated information. And in America, the United States, and first world countries, especially Europe, the Europe educational system that migrated over to the United States was founded so heavily and focused so much I'm thinking while I talk to you but focused so much on book smarts they wanted to repeat information they wanted to memorize a bunch of common sense aka vocabulary they wanted to repeat right and now you have so much repeated information you have so much repeated information. People have degrees, degrees going off of the wall, but they have no jobs because they don't have the other half. Street smarts. And when I lived, when I, one of my rock bottoms, you know, not, not the Las Vegas rock bottom where, you know, zero dollars in my pocket coming out of Las Vegas. And it, <laughs> crazy college years. When I was at a rock bottom and I lived in Mexico for a year and a half, I got to work in Mexico as a blacksmith. I developed street smarts real quick. When you're surrounded by a bunch of ex-convicts and drug dealers and crackheads or people that are shooting up meth every day and night, you learn street smarts real quick. And street smarts is exactly that. The ability to think. The ability to survive. Why do the Hispanic people on the United States border get along so well with people from the South? God, I love people from the South. I love, you can, you, can, you can try to condescend them and call them rednecks all day long or whatever dogma mass makes you feel better about your ego, but God, I love fucking people from the South. Do you know why? Because they actually know how to think. They have common sense. Common sense is not that common anymore, guys. Common sense is not that common anymore, and common sense is street smarts, the ability to let the wheels in your head turn. I said, wait a moment, this one family that owns all of the news, they also own all of the politicians, and the teleprompter those politicians and the news is putting on TV. Yet you want to tell me we started a war in the Middle East for oil money, and supposedly it's because of terrorists? You want to tell me the cartels? And trust me, I know fucking Mexican politics really good. I, and we'll do that in the documentary we shoot in April. You want to tell me the cartels, which was founded, was caught getting rifles from ISIS, which was caught being founded by the government's FBI? Terrorists? Hmm. But yeah, you want me to trust you, the one, you, the one family that owns all of the news and politicians, the greedy, psychopathic, power-hungry politicians and news, that these people are bad guys? Maybe they could be standing up to you. Let the wheels turn in your heads, people. And I, guys, if you can just start, start thinking and start responding instead of just reacting all day long, Right? Let me wind them up. You know, instead of just reacting all day long, you're reacting. And I'm sorry if this, I'm not sorry, but this is going to offend a lot of lies people are living. But if you really have the courage to watch, to change your life, and you want to change your life, like I said, guys, seven years, traveled the entire world. I'm still traveling and now working with international leaders. I sleep perfect. I don't drink coffee. I haven't drink coffee in... I don't know how long. I mass I went through 30 jobs. I personal growth to the business international business owner and entrepreneur I am now. I raised four beautiful children. I graduated college all honors. How did I do this in 7 years? If you want to know, I'm giving this information away for free and this is the last time I'm going to do it. Like I said now that the nonprofit set up, I'm going to focus on myself. And the second tool that you use, right? You already know about problem solving or responsibility is exactly what I'm talking about thinking stop reacting and start responding start thinking for yourself stop letting 
society or the media owned by this one family that we just talked about that only wants to control and suck you dry, suck your soul dry, stop letting them use you. Start thinking for yourself. Get some street smarts. Get some common sense. And this is why I love the people from the South. Because they know how to survive just like the people on the border, the ranchers. They don't have all of this. They have all of this. And this is why first world countries are going down the fucking drain and they're all afraid and freaking out because they don't understand the solution. And the solution is you've been embarking in this for so long and this is not working anymore. And now developing countries that are still using this are fucking more than developing right now. And for all my friends and you know, brothers and sisters that are watching this video in first world countries, this is, this is very important. The ability to think, just like Albert Einstein said, teach people how to think, not just memorize information and be another repeat on the wall, right? The third tool, guys, and real quick, guys, these go hand in hand, right? The ability to think and problem solve go hand in hand. Because when you start thinking for yourself and you start using street smarts and common sense, that, huh, okay, this is a nail. The nail looks like this. This hole looks like this. Maybe I don't need to Google how to put a nail into a fucking hole. Maybe I can use some common sense. When you start using common sense and toughening the fuck up a little bit, hand... One, thinking goes hand in hand with fucking problem solving. If you can master those two things, guys, if you can master and embrace the, the perspective of I'm going to grow stronger from my traumas, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow stronger from my failures and mistakes, and I'm going to solve my problems, and use the ability to think to solve my problems and think for myself. This is what free thinking is about. This is what free will is all about, right? The whole debate between free will and, oh, I'm just going to be, you know, controlled by this one family that owns all of the media, the politicians. And, oh, wait a moment. They work side by side with the Catholic Church that has been controlling the masses for hundreds of years. I wonder why some people have a hard time grasping free will. And this goes into my, my last point, guys. This is the last tool, the third tool I want to give you guys. Like I said, guys, this is my last video. And there's going to be a, a handful of people, maybe a dozen in a year, you know, 500, two years, you know, 50,000 people that watch this video and actually apply it to their life. These three tools that I'm giving you guys for free. And they're going to come back and be like, in one year, Luke, just one year, my life went like that. And this last point, this last tool is the most powerful tool that I'm going to give you guys. Okay, I found these at my house, guys. Like I said, I tried to do the video outside while I was walking my, my little dog, Snickers and Zanin. But, you know, the, the, the cars were too loud. So this is the last point, guys. This is what really changed my life and is going to change your life too. And the reason why is, you know, you have two emotions, right, that are, that are dictating the universe that we live in. You have fear, which is ignorance, and you have love, which is understanding. And like I said, I've studied psychology and physics my entire life, and this is the most powerful liberating thing you're ever going to hear in your life. And a lot of you guys have, you know, heard about the subconscious mind. You've watched the movie Inception. You've seen the little, you know, top spin. Some people have heard about the law of attraction. And so I'm going to kind of go at an intermediate level and give you this last tool, the most powerful tool, and that is love. And everything in life, guys, starts with yourself first. It doesn't start with some dead prophet Everything in life starts with you first. And what do I mean by that? You know, our bodies, our bodies, the physical illusion, right? The physical, this is all an illusion. Our bodies, though, are a molecular structure. Our bodies are a molecular structure. Our atoms and our cells in our body 
vibrate accordingly to the thoughts that we produce. So all of the good and bad thoughts that you're thinking during the day, you know, mine are all good now because I've reprogrammed my subconscious mind like you can, which I'm about to explain to you. All of your thoughts that you're thinking during the day are going to change your emotions or the vibration that your body is in. This is how people just seem to get sick over and over again. People just seem to get nails in their car over and over again. I don't ever get nails, man. I, I fucking was driving non-stop for months. When I say non-stop, I'm talking, woo, a lot of driving. No nails. This is how some, I, some people just seem to get sick all the time. If you're thinking bad thoughts all the time, this is putting your body in a negative vibration. And your body is a molecular structure that responds to the thoughts that you're thinking. Are your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts, this is going to blow your mind. This is big shit, guys. This is liberating. Knowledge is power. Your thoughts create the neural pathways in your brain. Our thoughts create our physical brain. Oh, my God. People, people are going to be... Oh my God, my whole life is a lie. Our thoughts create our physical brain. Our thoughts dictate the vibration, right? Our body is a molecular structure vibrating, responding to our thoughts. This is why I get very passionate and excited about this. Our thoughts though, guys, seriously. Our thoughts though, our thinking, excuse me, our thinking. People are connecting the dots. People are connecting the dots, and people, people are connecting the dots. So if, wait a moment, if I can think for myself and start thinking and direct my own thoughts, control, I don't like to use the word control, but don't, don't, mistake, don't mistake what I mean by that. Okay, when we can direct and master our thoughts and our, and our thinking freely, and our thoughts direct, like I just said, the vibration we're in, oh my God. Anything's possible. You can do anything. And th this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like I said, this, is, this third tool is the most powerful tool. And when you, when I, if I were to stare at the back of your head, I know it's a little creepy, but when you were in the classroom, if you're in a classroom or you're at you know, the meetings for your children's school and you stare at the back of somebody's head, what do they do? They turn around. You don't even touch them, <laughs> right? When I'm driving, sometimes I get bored and I stare at the back of someone's car and 100% of the time, it's never failed once. They look back at me. I can see them in their little <laughs> review mirror like, what the fuck's going on? And it's it, when I think about somebody before I go to sleep, 100% of the time they text me. Even if I haven't talked to them in years, it doesn't matter. They still message, message me. And it's because, you know, there are tribes or or small groups of people around the world that could communicate with, back and forth with each other just through their thoughts. And I, it's because we are energy. The physical body is an illusion. We are energy. When you die, you still let off a heat signature. We have enough energy to light up an entire city with just the palm of our hand. And there's two vibrations in the, in the world we live in. There's love and there's fear. And fear stimulates from when your mental or thoughts of ignorance, when you don't understand the opposite of love, when you don't understand, when you don't understand somebody or something, you start to build doubt, you start to build worry, you start to become afraid of the Mexican people. This is why we are bridging cultures, documentaries, we focus on the opposite. We allow people to live a day in the shoes of the Mexican people, the Native Americans, soon the Philippines, to where they can actually understand. And when you understand, you've actually, you can actually feel what, I can feel what you've experienced. I know what depression feels like. I know what suicide feels like. I know what... A, a failed miscarriage feels like. I know what it feels like. You understand. And this is why I judge a tree by the fruits it bears. 
why the fuck am I going to listen to somebody teach me something when they're just repeating what they learned from a college textbook? I'm like, I want somebody that actually experienced it. I want somebody that understands. But when you understand yourself, Everything starts with you, 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 you. I'm not religious, and that's a th whole nother 45-minute video. Like, I've been kind of hinting at and dropping, you know, dropping Easter eggs or hints at. But the Bible verse, before the Bible became an adulterated, right, an adulterated religion, before, before it became adulterated, there is a reason why it says love yourself first in order to love your neighbor or a stranger, you have to love yourself first. Everything starts with you first. Because what did we just say? We are energy. We are vibrating. The physical world is an illusion. So whatever vibration you're sending out with your thoughts that are creating, with your thoughts that are creating your vibration, what does a magnet do? It's going to come back to you. When I started to truly understand and love myself from within, I started to attract authentic and genuine love that I never felt even my entire life. Not a bunch of fake love that, oh, my religion told me to love to say this, my religion told me to say that, society told, told me to say thank you, so I'm going to say thank you. No! When I walked out of that forest, I began to truly understand and love myself from within as I grew and as I evolved I loved myself even more and I brought out more goodness I started to take care of my health through the most powerful vibration in the universe despite all the psychopathic criminals and people that think they're they're outsmarting the system the universal system life it's still growing. Life is evolving. We have billions of people that are starting to awaken to what I'm talking about. We have billions of people. The health and wellness industry is a trillion dollar industry now. It's a beautiful thing. People are uniting all around the world. Video chat apps are huge right now. And despite what the media or the news wants you to think that we just exposed, if you're able to, guess what? Love is the most powerful vibration. And this is why when you truly understand and love yourself, and you, you want to send out love, why do... That's what the insecure, sleazy snake salesman wants to do. When you don't truly understand, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about a dogma mask that society is giving you, right? Some fake bullshit dogma mask because you don't truly understand yourself more than the flesh of an animal. You walk around in a dog, dogma mask. I'm not talking about the ego. Let me use a different word. I'm not talking about the ego. I'm talking about from within. You truly don't understand and love yourself from within. Excuse me, guys. But when you truly understand and love yourself from within, this is completely different than the ego or some bullshit dogma mask or some, as in a religion or a gender. I'm like, no shit, you're a man. I could just look down, drop your pants, or I'll, I'll tell you right away if you're a female or a male. That's not, that's another bullshit dogma mask. Well, society told me I gotta buy a big truck because I'm a man, so I better do what society says. Guys, truly understand and love yourself from within. The plants, the plants, the plants, the trees, the rainbows, the animals, the flowers, they all, all of life vibrates on 528 hertz. This is called the love frequency, the vibration of miracles. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. 
You are perfect. An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. Is you know he's got his big gold medals, and he said, "Wait a moment. There are fifty thousand people that could be doing what I do, but better." You are a 400 trillion to 1 miracle. You were born vibrating on the frequency of creation, creation and love itself. There's nothing you can't do. If you, the rainbows, the rainbows and the stars vibrate on 528 hertz. I don't worship the universe. I don't, it's not a sign from the universe. WE ARE THE UNIVERSE! WE, THROUGH OUR IMAGINATIONS, YOU, ALL OF INFINITE LIFE, SOME CALL IT THE HOLY SPIRIT, RIGHT? IT TRAVELS FASTER THAN THE SPEED OF LIGHT. ALL OF LIFE, RIGHT NOW, IS VIBRATING ON THE SAME VIBRATION, ALL OF LIFE. WHAT IS FLOWING THROUGH ALL OF LIFE? Holy Spirit, or I call it infinite life. It's flowing through you right now. You and I are the highest form of life there is. You bet you infinite life is flowing through us. And our emotions, or our energy, our vibration, our frequency that we are in from... Is directing where, those, where that energy goes. But if you align through the vibration of love and you send out the vibration of love that all of life is flowing through and evolving, why has life just kept on evolving and growing despite all of the people that thought they were outsmarting the system? Because that is the power of love. And when you truly, truly love yourself from within, not some dogma mask, Oh my God, Kobe Bryant said it perfectly. I'm not going to be the next LeBron James. I'm not going to be the next LeBron James. I'm going to be the next Kobe Bryant. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. Like the gold medalist Olympic athlete said, there are 50,000 people that could be doing what I do but better. And when you truly understand the last tool that I'm going to give you guys before I end this video, when you truly understand and love yourself from within, and you let out, you want to give to humanity, you want to give and make the world a better place, and life rewards life with more life. If you send out the vibration of love because you love yourself first, now you want to give because you love yourself from within, now you want to give. If you don't love yourself from within, you want to take and try filling your emptiness. You want to sleep and have empty sex. You want to take drugs. You want to take more drugs. You want to fill your emptiness. You want more money. You want more money. But it's never going to fulfill you. You're going to try filling your insecurity and your emptiness. But when you truly understand and love yourself from within, you're now secure. You're now fulfilled. You want to give the vibration of love, not fear, but love to the rest of the world. And guess what life is going to give you back? Abundance and prosperity. More joy than you could ever imagine. Not happiness, but joy. And this is why the 1% get richer and richer. They understand how the universe works. There's 12 universal laws. I'm not going to go into that. But they give. You'd be amazed by how much the millionaires and billionaires give. Oh my God. And guess what comes right back to them? More prosperity. I made all 50 videos for free. I run this international nonprofit because we are all life. You are life. I am life. And if you grow, we unite together. We all prosper. There's enough prosperity to go around for all of us guys and use these three tools. Problem solve. Face your problems with strength. Face your problems with the vibration of love and there's no problem you cannot overcome. Start thinking. Start applying street smarts. And you will live the life of your dreams, I guarantee you. And, guys, 
don't just love yourself from within for who you are, right? Your character and all your gifts and your talents that we we just talked about. Love yourself for the human being you are. You know, people don't know what being a human being is. When you when it, when it says you are created in the Creator's highest image, people don't even religion and that's owned by this one family is never going to tell you what that even means. Being created in the Creator's highest image and loving yourself completely is loving your ability to reprogram your subconscious mind. How have I changed my life so much recently? Affirmations. 21 days to reprogram your subconscious mind or a habit, habitual habit, your paradigms. If you want to change your final bonus piece of knowledge is power I'm going to give you. Our thoughts dictate the vibration we're in. Well, what produces these conscious thoughts during the day? Our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is generating 50,000. Some, some of my other people I trained underneath said 150,000 thoughts a day. How do you change these 50, 100,000 thoughts that are directing the entire vibration you're in and the thoughts, you know, that you're thinking. And entire, I could break down an entire sentence and tell you the paradigms that people are running off of. The subconscious mind they're in. Thoughts are very, words are very powerful. But emotions even more powerful, which runs the subconscious mind. And guys, 21 days, rip, look up an affirmation. The words I am are the most powerful words in the human language. I am what I am. I am what I am. And when you use the words I am and you listen to affirmations for 21 days, not just positive affirmations, people are using at silent subliminal affirmations that are changing their eye color, changing their facial structure, growing taller. I make them myself. I help people grow, you know, inches taller, play the violin better. Because People are winning speech and debate contests, never even studied speech and debating or public speaking in their entire life, not a single class, wouldn't like that. Because our paradigms or our subconscious mind is what decides how you're going to kiss, how you're going to make love, how you're going to breathe when you make love, how you're going to breathe when you kiss, your self-esteem, your confidence, everything starts from your subconscious mind and you got to ask yourself where did this belief that I'm not a good writer come from you know you got to ask yourself where did these beliefs or these subconscious paradigms come from because a lot of times or a hundred percent of the time they came from your childhood and a hundred percent of the time they're bullshit and when you accept and you understand that you can reprogram your subconscious mind however you want at, at, at will you can change your paradigms. You change the vibration you're in. You change the way you think. You change the, your self-image and the way you see the world. You change your entire life. Instead of being, instead of allowing your, your subconscious mind to be brainwashed by this one psychopathic controlling family, you can create your own paradigms. There are tens, tens of millions, I, would, I, I don't know if it's safe to say over a hundred million yet, people that are listening to subliminal messages or subliminal affirmations and reprogramming the paradigms, the 50,000 to 100,000 thoughts that float in your subconscious mind, and they're, they're changing their life at will. This is what being created in the Creator's highest image is about. And we have higher faculties. The imagination, perception, memory, memory, perception, intuition, imagination, and reason. I, I did some of those twice. Imagination, perception, willpower, free will, memory, and intuition. And these are gifts that none of the other animals have, none of the other creatures have, that you have been gifted with. You have the responsibility as a human being, or I like to call a divine creator. As a divine creator, you have not only the ability to reprogram your paradigms,
changing your reality and your body or your inner being to whatever you want. You have the ability with your imagination and thinking, you have the ability to think with your imagination and send out whatever energy you want, like we just talked about. And th this is this is what loving yourself as a divine creator is. When you truly understand and love yourself, not just your character and your gifts and your talents, like we talked about earlier, but loving yourself as a divine creator for your ability to program your subconscious mind. The ability to use your higher creative faculties I just told you about. There's nothing you can't do. You guys, like I said, this is the last video I'm making. I'm going to start, like I said, now that we're going to start our documentaries for the nonprofit, start our, you know, Bridging Cultures documentaries, this is the last post I'm going to do. This is my longest video. We just hit 50 minutes. But people that watch this video all the way through, guys, you now have the ability, the three, the three tools that you need to not only create your dream life, but to feel joy, fulfill, excuse me, fulfillment, joy, happiness, eternal happiness, and use them, guys. Problem solving. Become stronger. Face your problems like a real man. Be responsible. Two, start thinking. Start applying street smarts like Albert Einstein said. And three, truly understand and love yourself as a 400 trillion to one creator, divine creator, or human being. And guys, there is nothing you cannot do. This is how in seven years, guys, I mean, I'm at the point now where I'm living, I'm living in what I didn't even know existed. These are like the bonus levels of life. I'm, I mean, I'm working with fucking, you know, <laughs> I'm working with, when I say leaders, guys, I'm talking about governors, Native American tribal leaders, you know, Filipino councilmen, I, <laughs> you know, and I don't, I laugh because I'm happy. I'm, I'm fulfilled. You know, I'm laughing out of joy and bliss. And these are the bonus levels. And I'm like I said, guys, this is the last video I'm making. And I, I, <laughs> I could see it changing a lot of lives. And you are a 400 trillion to one miracle, like I said, guys. Use these three tools that I gave you if you want. Or just keep, keep being used and keep being tossed around and keep, you know, smoking yourself away or, you know, being used as a, another, you know, scapegoat in the rat race. If you want to, that's, that's your choice. I'm not forcing anybody to do anything, guys. I just wanted to make this last video go all out, throw all of my, you know, lifetime of perspective, my lifetime of tool, the three tools that allowed me in seven years, like I said, to travel the world, obtain perfect health, do everything I'm doing. And I, I'm going to miss you guys, like I said. I'm going to keep uploading YouTube videos. I'm going to keep uploading subliminal messages or affirmations to the YouTube channel, which is really starting to grow now. But going forward, I'm only going to be, you know, uploading on Facebook to our, you know, 10,000 followers, our Bridging Cultures, uniting, you know, the cultures together, and that's it. That's going to be it, guys, from going, going on forward now. I'm not going to be posting any more self-help videos, any more inspiration or motivational videos. So I wish you guys all the very best, you know, like I said, if this video at first is maybe going to ha help a handful of people, and this is how life works, in a year, guess what, 500 people are going to be helped, two years, 50,000, the YouTube channel has started off with a couple of subscribers, then a lot of subscribers, or, you know, a couple dozen, one person making requests, now three or four people making requests, that's how life goes, guys, and don't try to take the shortcuts. Follow these three tools, watch this video. Watch this video every day or once a week for, uh, for a year, and your income will a, a thousand times. 
not only will your income not only will your income go up by a thousand, if not ten thousand, your relationships, your health, everything will enter heaven on earth. I like to call it heaven on earth. <laughs> Take care of yourself, guys. I love you all. Blessings to all of you. I guess we weren't able to hit the one hour mark, but apply these three things, guys. Three tools.